I'm Maddie Thompson from Clear Path Robotics and this is the Robot Spotlight, our series where we highlight some of the most interesting and unique robots that come through our integration shop. Now, the construction industry faces lots of different management related challenges such as communicating with workers as well as monitoring build progress. Now today's Husky based robot has been configured to tackle all of those challenges. Let's go ahead and get started with the episode. So I'm back with our systems engineer, Ryan, who's going to tell us a little bit about another one of his most recent projects. So Ryan, can you tell us about this robot? Absolutely. Um, so you mentioned earlier about the difficulties that come with large scale construction projects. Um, we are working with a, a large construction company down in the US who approached us about creating a robot that would work well for the challenges that they face. With that in mind, um, we've created this robot to solve two particular challenges they run into. We've integrated an iPad on the front of the robot. This allows the superintendent to be able to communicate remotely with workers on the other side of a job site. Um, secondly, we've integrated a number of sensors which allow the company to record construction data around the job site. This is controlled with our indoor nav and our outdoor nav software stored locally on the robot and then downloaded onto a back-end server at the end of the day. So what kind of special or unique design features are involved with this robot? So because this is going into a construction environment, um, we have made the system very robust. The sensors on the uh, platform are all recessed and protected as much as possible. As well, we've made the entire platform IP54 rated. And even though this system is a prototype commercialized platform, it is still very extensible and allows the customer to integrate the system into their platform as much as possible. Could you give us a tour of the robot? Absolutely. So this robot is very similar to a robot that was featured in our previous video. Uh, but just to recap, the robot uses our Husky base platform. The Husky was chosen for its footprint and also for its all-terrain capabilities, good for use on a construction site. Inside the robot, we have two lithium ion batteries uh, for an extended runtime. We also have two PCs in here. One is our main ROS computer. The other is used for indoor nav. We have the Wibotic wireless charger as well. Moving up into the uh, top enclosure, we have two 2D LiDARs, which are used for navigation in our indoor nav software, as well as docking in, our, uh, in both uh, software suites. We have the 3D LiDAR, which is used for obstacle avoidance. As we move up above, we have a uh, set of antennas here. These are the GPS antennas, uh, for use for localization within our outdoor nav software, as well as we have the antennas for our wireless access point. Specific to this system, on the front of the robot, we have an iPad, which is used for uh, teleconference capabilities. So this allows someone to be able to communicate through the robot across long distances on the job site. Moving up on the mast, we have our pan tilt zoom camera. This is part of the inspection system. Uh, this is all controlled through our indoor nav and our outdoor nav software. Finally, on the top of the robot, we have a 360 degree view camera, which will allow you to do video recording and stills recording of that 360 degree field of view. So I'm here with our software developer, Chris, who's gonna tell us a little bit about what software this robot's running. Yeah, so this Husky is equipped with ROS Noetic running on Ubuntu 20.04 and it has ClearPath's indoor and outdoor navigation software. The outdoor nav software features a teleop GUI so you can drive the robot around in real time with live views from the front and rear cameras, the pan tilt zoom camera and this panorama camera up top. What the software lets the user do is program a complete inspection mission. They can set points of interest around the map, have the cameras automatically record images and video at certain points, and the path planning is completely dynamic, so it'll go to the points you've specified, but if there's a pile of debris or someone walks in front of the robot, it'll intelligently replan around it. 
So one of the benefits of using ROS on this robot is all of the sensor data, all, including GPS data, camera feeds, everything is available as ROS topics. The customer will be able to program their own logic, consume that data, and manipulate it however they need to for their applications. ClearPath's indoor navigation software is useful in environments where the GPS can't be used. So anywhere indoors where you've got a roof overhead, or if you're in a very narrow outdoor environment and you've got large buildings on either side that block the GPS signal. So the indoor nav system uses the LiDARs on the front and rear of the robot to build a map of the environment. And just like outdoor nav, you can program missions involving point-to-point -point transit. At each point, you can start or stop video recording, you can turn the PTZ camera to inspect certain areas in your environment. So that's it for our video today. Thank you so much to Ryan and Chris for sharing their robot with us. Now if you enjoyed our video, make sure to give it a like, and if you have any questions at all, just leave those in the comments section down below. Now don't forget to subscribe because there will be more videos like this one coming very soon. Thank you all for watching, and we'll see you next time.